thinking. <laughs> I'm not that smart. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm super happy um, to get this win. Uh, I think I played great, uh, great tennis, and uh, happy to get through through this run. Hi, Irina. Congratulations on the win. You'd never beaten Diana before, but it was a long. It's been a long time since you've played her. So, do you, did you remember anything from those matches that you took into today, or was it just a whole new experience? Well, I mean, obviously, like I'm, I'm a better player right now, and I got more stuff in my pocket to get this win against her. And um, yeah, our last matches were a long time ago, where I was kind of like on and off, uh, um, and I was just trying to find my way. <laughs> so um, I was going quite confident into this match, knowing that I have uh, everything to get the win, and and I'm super happy to to finally get the win against her. <laughs> I guess that was the main question. <laughs> so with Stuttgart, Madrid, Rome, and Paris, within two months of each other, how do you possibly sustain your best tennis over that period? I mean, uh, I think uh, it's a nice question, you know? <laughs> It's like slowly start, you know, like Stuttgart, it's indoors, it's a different clay, it's kind of like a preparation for this big tournament, then, then it's Madrid, a bit of uh, attitude, the conditions are so different, so I mean, I'm not focusing on finding my best tennis, I'm just trying, I'm focusing on um, adapt to the conditions as good as I can and just uh, fight um, fight for every um, opportunity and uh, I think Madrid was really a great couple of weeks for me. I took uh, lots of pos uh, po positive uh, stuff from there and and here in Rome I just want to keep uh, keep building the level uh, so um, so by the time I come to the Roland Garros I'll, I'll feel my best uh, in my best form. On the question. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, on, <laughs> we're doing good. Um, on the court, you said that it would be a dream to win this tournament. What is it about this tournament that is that would make it that for you? I mean, I love Rome. I love the city. I feel so, I don't know, so comfortable being here. I enjoy walking around. I enjoy good food, uh, great restaurants. I enjoy the atmosphere on the stadium. And I don't know, every time I was losing here, I was so sad. I felt like I lost on the Grand Slam because it was uh, one of the dream tournaments for me to win. So, And it's still one of, the, uh, one of my um, dream uh, tournament. So, uh, yeah, lots of good things about Rome and always enjoy my time here and always want to stay here as long as I can. You also started much stronger today compared to your last match. Is there anything, any adjustments you made? Earlier you said. Yeah, mm. you started stronger today yeah, yeah. compared to against Valenets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so how did you do that? I mean, I had a day off, so, you know, it's not like I played a uh, late match yesterday and I had to show up uh, early early afternoon today, so I had a day off, so, I mean, it's quite easy to adjust. I had an easy, easy day yesterday, a uh, little practice and, uh, of course, a uh, good uh, dinner and, and woke up a bit earlier today and uh, was ready to go. Um, con considering how different um, the conditions are compared to Madrid and Rome, how, how long does it take you to actually adapt? Like, do, do you feel adapted now, or is it still something that takes time? Mm, well, it's definitely something it's, which uh, takes time. It's so different. Uh, Madrid is uh, much faster, and because of the attitude, the ball bouncing high and fast. So here's everything is uh, way slower, and you have to build a point before before making the winner in Madrid. You can you can just hit strong and it's going to be winner from the first shot so here you have to build a point and um, I would say that um, I'm feeling better after this match I feel um, like another practice another match and I'll be fully uh, fully adapted just two quick ones do you have a favorite pasta dish and do you have a favorite gelato flavor <laughs> oh pasta mm. 
I mean, it's definitely truffle pasta, like carbonara with truffle, I love it. Or spicy red pasta with meat, also one of my favorites. I mean, I don't know, every pasta is my favorite here. And gelato. Why you make me want it, you know? I, I'm not allowed to eat sugar during the tournament and now I feel like eating with this gelato. Um, Stracciatella. Stracciatella, pistachio, vanilla. Mm, well, I would go for all though. <laughs> you know, like a big one, big, big bowl of gelatos. Dream, dream snack. <laughs> Um, with there being uh, bigger te players having bigger teams, um, uh, higher ranked players and lower ranked players, do you actually feel it in the locker room? Like, does it feel like there are more people around behind the scenes? Sorry, what was the question? Does, does it, um, players have bigger teams, right? Bigger um, teams? Yeah, like more oh. coaches. And oh, yeah, okay. Does it feel like there are more people in the locker room these days? And just like around. I mean, in the locker room, there is only players. Yeah, but like in, in, in the play, in the areas. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. I mean, I don't feel that honestly. I'm, I'm trying not to spend so much time on site, so I don't feel that uh, busyness here. Uh, but definitely, you can see that it's uh, bigger teams around, and I don't know. I like to see that. I mean, it's it looks uh, professional, and everyone is uh, pumped up to for a good result. So I, I like to see that, but. Um, I don't feel that much, you know. Thank you.